So why do Catholics worship Mary? Let's discuss. When people ask me, why do Catholics worship Mary? The first answer I have to say is, we don't worship Mary. So let, let, that, let the record show, spoiler alert, Catholics don't worship Mary. But then the further question is, why do you pray to her? Why do you venerate her? Why do you spend so much time talking about her as Catholics? It's, it's viewed a lot of times by non-Catholics with a bit of suspicion. And I think it's important that we clarify that. Why do we hold Mary in such esteem? Why is she so important in the Catholic Church? It's important for me to think about it in terms of the question, where would you be without your mother? Where would you be? If your mother didn't exist, where would you be? And the answer to that question is, you wouldn't be here, because all of us came from a mother. And the shocking reality of Christianity is at the very heart and center of Christianity is something that we call the incarnation, that God became man, so that God truly became man without ceasing to become God, became true man, that he, and he took on his humanity, took his flesh in the womb of Mary. So he received his humanity from Mary, so that for nine months, Mary carried the Word made flesh, Jesus, in her very body, that she gave birth to the Word made flesh through her body, that she fed the Word made flesh with her body, that the Word made flesh, Jesus, as he grew, as he uh, eventually would go around teaching, as he eventually would uh, be arrested and suffer and crucify and die, that he gives up his body and blood to save us, that he received that body and blood from Mary. So again, the question, where would you be without your mother? And the same question is one that Jesus answers in his humanity, that he, he wouldn't ha have his humanity. That Mary is the mother of God, not because we think that Mary gives birth to the Godhead, that she's some sort of, of goddess out there in the sky, but that God truly became man. So the one that was born of Mary is truly said to be God. And so with that in mind, everything when we talk about Mary, Mary as, as one that intercedes on our behalf, that's not because she's a, a, the fourth person of the Blessed Trinity. That's because she's someone who is especially close to God. Actually, no human person has ever been closer to God than Mary. So so just like you have friends that you say, hey, I'm going through this struggle and I know you're close to God. I know you pray. Can you pray for me? And many friends will say yes to that and they'll even maybe pray for you right there, which is a beautiful thing. That we believe that Mary is as close to God as anyone could possibly be, not only here on earth, but now that she's with God in heaven especially. So when we ask Mary, Mary, pray for us. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. We're saying that because we know that she is close to God and she intercedes on our behalf. And that she is, gives us a great example to not only as being the mother of Jesus, but also as of being a disciple. So when we talk to Mary, when we love Mary, have a devotion to her, we are talking to and loving and having a devotion to the one that Jesus himself talked to and loved and had a devotion to, just like every person that has a good mother has a devotion to their mother as well. So when we talk about Mary, when we lift up Mary as Catholics, it's never to put down Jesus. It's always because of who Jesus is that we rejoice in the great gift that his mother Mary is to each one of us.